Hello peeps. All right, so uh, last year there was loads of people saying about, oh, I wish I had time to do my own vegetables, grow my own stuff. Well, I thought I'd do a little tutorial for you today. So um, all I've been doing all year round is digging in some poop, just normal old poop. And we've been digging it in into uh, the ground, obviously. Uh, looks a little bit like this. Uh, and I've been digging it in since what, about November. And then you just get your your rake and you just rake it down so it comes up a little bit more tilthy, like this. And then we can start planting. So um, I've been raking it over, digging it over for, uh, I don't know, once, once every two weeks since November. Adding a bit of horse manure here and now. And uh, it's down middle of March, so we can get ready for planting. So we're going to be covering that very shortly. So, as you can see, break it down, get all that uh, slag, all that spoil off the top. Now, what I've done here is I've lined out where I want my crop to go. Uh, this one's going to be potatoes. Um, so, what we do for those is dig ourselves a nice little trench all the way along, about 10 centimetres deep. Uh, and then we're just going to plant our potatoes into there. All right, so looking at my potatoes then, I've got uh, my Fona's second early's, two and a half kilogram bags of seed potatoes. Now what you want to do with your seed potatoes, you want to keep them in a nice cool, dry place for a few weeks, so they chit. That's what they call chitting, when you get the little tubules come off the end. So once you've got those, you are ready to plant. <laughs> Okay, so here we go, we're back to our box and our drills. Now, when you put the drills out, the, uh, the, 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 the trenches, if you like, the troughs, they need to be at least two foot apart, okay? Uh, and when you put in your potatoes, yep, just lay them in, and you're gonna do those around about, just over a sort of foot or so apart. Just lay them in like so. Nothing special. I don't gotta do anything hard or difficult with them. And we just lay them out until we've got a nice even spread all the way along a little 10 centimeter trough so you want a trough about 10 centimeters deep they need to be about two foot 70 centimeters away from each other um, 70 centimeters away from each other and about 30 centimeters apart so about a foot apart yeah. Yeah. all right so uh once you've got your potatoes nicely laid out it's just a simple case now just covering them over just gently 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 cover them over making sure they're all covered in all right so nothing special just gently fur in do that with all three rows and uh just wait ready for growing now another thing we need to do make sure you put your labels on yeah because this is a uh and it's a second early so some of you be wondering what uh, first early second early are all about and 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 main crop it's basically how long they take to mature and grow so uh it, it, with your first early you harvest those around june july the second early july to september and so on and so on so but uh, always put your labels on because tell you what guys the amount of times i've planted stuff i thought i remember what's there and uh I never do. <laughs> also keep your string in line as well. So don't take your strings down because uh, when you come to do your weeding, um, you wanna know where your plants are so that when you're walking up and down the rows, you don't walk on top of where you planted. So if you stay away from the lines uh, and weed in between the lines, then you know you're not gonna be damaging your, your crops. Uh, yeah. That is all nicely covered in now. They're in the new beds, the new homes. Uh, so what do we need to look out for? Well, obviously we've got a weed. Um, we can't let these little uh, pests start nicking all the nutrients out of our soil and having our potatoes having to try to compete. So make sure you weed regularly. The other thing you want to do is when the potatoes start to grow, um, when they start getting sort of about six inches out of the soil, um, what we need to do is get the soil from each side and pile it up on top so we get a little mound so we get like a, like a ridge that goes the whole length of this and we keep doing that keep piling it over piling it over put more and more on top so we don't let the uh um uh the the the, 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 uh, the, the shoots come through um and we keep doing that until we get a nice big mound that way the potatoes grow in the mound and not deep down where you've got to start digging up loads of uh, loads of soil obviously like i say always heavily watering any new plants now we're going to start to look at uh, some onion sets now um because they're ready to go in as well so middle to end of march sort of 
middle of March to middle of May is when we're going to put all this stuff in. So now let's start looking at onions. Now, I like this book. This is a book that I've got. It's called The New Vegetable and uh, Herb Expert by Dr. Uh, Hessian. And uh, it's got everything that you need in here, really. So we're going to be doing onions from sets. Now, there's onions from sets. And also, there's onions from seed. So what are the difference between sets and seeds? Well, there you go. There's onion seeds, tiny, tiny little things. Um, they take a little bit longer to grow and they're a little bit harder to grow. So I tend to purchase sets, which are onion seeds, basically. Now you do want to use seed onions, seed potatoes as well. Don't, don't get the stuff out the supermarket, like your potatoes that start chitting in the sack and planting them in the ground and hoping they're gonna they grow. They, they might well do, but um, they're sprayed with a chemical to stop that from to, or retard uh, the growth um, cycle so that you get longer, uh, your produce stays on the shelf for longer. So you want to buy special seed sets for onions and for your your potatoes um, now these are easy to plant literally you've got the uh, the rooty end at the bottom that goes in and you literally just push that in and leave it and firm it out around so you're leaving the tip just exposed in the dirt now at this time of year um, especially if you've got lots of badgers and stuff around the badgers they do love a, um, uh, an onion uh, daffodil bulbs all of that kind of thing so you do really want to cover it over uh, and I, we use some kind of netting some kind of um, fleece or something like that and also because it is still early um, we want to make sure that it don't get hit too hard by the frost that's coming at the end of the month some young ones are going in it quite, it quite simply is as we have before the three lines um, and all you do is get your onion set you look for the um, rooty bit at the bottom like so and literally you just Push it in, leave it like that. That's it, done. So again, rooty bit at the bottom. Push it in, done. Leave it like that, let's get it in line there, eh? Yeah, and we'll just do that all the way along until we're finished. So, onions in their new home. See them in there, look. That's a little arse, they're waiting to go. Look, lovely onions. <laughs> Today's work then. A bit of lining out ready for the next uh, onions going in. Got my onions under my little cloche there and got my potatoes over in the far corner. So it doesn't take much work. I've been over here since uh, two o'clock. It's five o'clock now, so three hours work. And that's it, that's it, three hours work, lovely.